Right now at 10, neighborhood crime alert on the north side. JSO says a man broke into a home and tried to rape a woman. Now, the neighborhood is near Dunn Avenue along Biscayne Boulevard, and police tell the news for Jackson this is the, the only attack that they're looking into. No, they said that there have been a series of early morning ambush style attacks on women in the area. We sent news for Jackson reporter Eric Avignet to the neighborhood to get information on what to watch out for. Eric. Yes, police say this man hides in dark areas and behind bushes. Then he attacks his unsuspecting victims from behind. Jacksonville police say it was at a home near this intersection of Dunn Avenue and Biscayne Boulevard where an unknown man entered through an unlocked window and attempted to sexually assault the person inside. He was nowhere to be found by the time police arrived to begin their investigation. This was only the latest incident involving an attempted sexual assault. Police say there's been a series of early morning ambush style attacks along this strip of Biscayne Boulevard, which isn't too far from Dunn Avenue. Police say a man has repeatedly hid in dark areas near structures and bushes, then approached unaccompanied women from behind before grabbing them. In each reported case, the women fought off the attacker who then runs away. While it's unclear if the recent attempted sexual assault inside a home is related to the series of attacks along Biscayne Boulevard, women we spoke with who live in the area are so disturbed by these reports that they only felt comfortable talking to us on camera as long as their face was not shown. I try not to go out at night, and if I do, I make sure my husband goes with me, um, which is sad because you can't, you don't even feel safe in your own yard. The women here, we work outside in our yard a lot, and we're out at night, so we're will be more cautious with each other and inform others to be aware. JSO advises neighbors to stay in well-lit areas and avoid distractions such as cell phone usage while walking to and from the walking area. The they are try. also asking neighbors to make sure their doors are locked and windows are secured. The two women we spoke with say after learning about these attacks, they will also review their security cameras more often. Now, because police want to get this person off the street, they have up the patrols in this area. Um, also, if anyone has information about a potential suspect, you are urged to immediately contact JSO, or you can also contact Crime Stoppers and receive a reward up to $3,000 uh, for information leading to an arrest. Reporting live on the north side, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station.